Hello everyone, today I'm gonna be sharing 9 teams with you that I used in my most recent SPL which is the biggest and most competitive team tournament in the world for singles meta. You can find the videos of me using these teams live, uh, the feeds are on my channel as I have uploaded almost all my games live and then I analyzed after the thought process how the games went. Uh, these teams here I'm gonna be showing you, you're gonna be able to find them in the description if you guys wanna use them. Some may be a little bit old since it's a 9 weeks tournament. So you might want to adjust a thing or two so they work in the current meta better. But yeah, with that said, please consider subscribing and let's talk about the teams. So we're going to start with uh, nine, uh, ninth team, uh, week 9 team. Um, uh, this is not a team that you're going to be... You, 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 you should be familiar. If you're watching my channel, you should be familiar with this team. Uh, we have uh, been posting this team a lot. We have been using this. It's my good old Trusted Sun team. Um, with the Lilligant, this is a really cool set with Terra Blast Fire, uh, which is able to get the Sun Boost, and this becomes a very strong, fast, hard hitting Pokemon against Steel types like Golden Go. Uh, it hits uh, would be resists like, uh, for example, Slow King Galar, which resists both Solar Blade and Close Combat. This does a shit ton of damage because it's Sun Boosted as well, and it becomes Stab. So, this is a really cool set, it allows you to outspeed and nuke things like Iron Valiant and Roaring Moon. So then we have the choice band uh, Gouging Fire. This Pokemon I started using it after as soon as we got destroyed week two versus uh, Man Speed. So the, that was my first interaction with choice band Gouging Fire. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna show you exactly the team that got me destroyed versus this. So yeah, as soon as I saw this, I was like, okay, this is strong as fuck. We have to use it. And yeah, it's been one of my favorite sound abusers. Uh, we have the great task, Life Orb. Uh, speed boosting variants, so we never have issue with Dragonite and such. That still allows us to soft check Dragonite as well as uh, Dragon type attacks and flying type attacks, so things like uh, acrobatics from Roaring Moon. Really cool set, close combat hits strong, things like Corviknight. Then we have this, the mixed defenses Torkoal with a little bit of speed def and uh, lowering as much as possible the speed. So we have some tools uh, with. Torkoal and Hatter in for opposing Trick Rooms, uh, which uh, especially when I built this team it was a little bit more popular now, I think you see a little, a little bit less, but uh, yeah, we have uh, Terra Poison, so we can absorb these spikes if we need, and it also provides some good resistance and neutral uh, typings, then we have the Mixed Defenses Hatter in, I remember exactly what the Spedef did, I know the speed was for Gargantical and such, Okay, we can get some and Toxapex, and we can get some hits. Amongus was relevant back when I built this because uh, Spore was allowed. But the main goal of this Hatterin is to eject pattern. So you set up the sun, the, you absorb a hit with the Hatterin, eject, and then you get your strong Pokemon's Gouging Fire and the Walking Wake with a Mystic Water. Uh, Mystic Water is uh, way better versus things like uh, Protect Gliscor or Protect Carcanical and it uh, can often bluff choice packs because the damage rolls are very similar with Mystic Water on uh, Hydro Steam. So, yeah, it's a really cool set. One other th cool thing about this is that, you know, water resists are mainly, what, grass types, wa positive water types and dragons. And using dragons as a water resist when I can switch moves is really nice. So you can get your dragon ID on my Hydro Steam, you can get your dragon build in, your Whatever, let's think about another dragon type. Uh, Kirim, sure. And then I nuke it with a Draco Meteor. So it's a really nice set. Uh, it's a really nice bluff. It outspeeds things like Rolling Moon, so you can bluff versus that too. I just team into Draco Meteor or Dragon Balls or whatever. Just be careful with Draco missing. Um, I've had that issue before. But uh, yes, this is the team I brought in, in week 9. We, we unfortunately lost with it because we missed a triple axel two turns before I win. But, it is what it is, but we could have played it better, I'm not gonna just play it on luck. Next, we have my sand team with gravity and choice band Excadrill. So I'm using Specs Willowis Dragapult. Willowis is used for security versus King Gambit, in case it goes uh, south versus it. Uh, then we have the Smooth Rock Tyranitar, which is a really cool Pokemon, a really cool set. The speed tier is nice, 221, outspeeding Jolly King Gambit, outspeeding all sorts of, of threats. Uh, with nice little coverage, Ice Beam for the Gliscor, Slow King, uh, not Slow King. What is the miss? Landorus and Great Tusk. Knock off utility, get rid of items, or hazard still damage, and the stone is strong. Terra Dragon for the grass assist that I should have used in my game, but I didn't. Um, 
water resists, helps me soft check Ogre Pond, to, or, or at least trade positively versus Ogre Pond and things like that. Uh, we have the choice band, Excadrill, this ship with Terra Ground, two KOs, things like Ting Lu, a great task, which is in insane. Landorus gets two KO, uh, especially with gravity, that I have support from Landorus. It outspeeds Fallen, it outspeeds Moth, it outspeeds Rolling Moon plus one, it's a really good set. It hits strong, and with the support that we have with Sand and Gravity, it just clicks high, high horsepower uh, or Earthquake, depending if they have like real Boom Grassy Terrain. Or if I eject Pattern, slow, so we, don't, we, we do have a lot of speed for uh, King Gambit, so this one is uh, more invested in defense over speed. Excuse me. Oof. But uh, we also have the attack on here for the fire resistance, for the water resistance, in case I need it, versus Heatran, versus things like that. And we invest a lot of defense here because we do have things to revenge kill, uh, Loki, like Loki, uh, that under the King Gambits. And here we invest more in defense, so we better eat attacks from King Gambit defensively or better eat attacks hits uh, from, from hits like uh, uh, Rolling Moon knockoff and things like that. Then we have the Primarina with a Casta Berry. This is a really cool EV spread that I didn't make and stole it somewhere, but uh, <laughs> it's meant to outspeed by one point the Clef. You can flip turn, you have uh, strong wood blasts. I, I'm sure they do something, but I don't know exactly what they do. Defense at the SPDF. Somebody gave them to me on my team uh, from SPL, so I scrapped it. And then we have my defensive Landor set. We use Leftovers over uh, Rocky Helmer. I felt Leftovers gives me more room to click Gravity over Helmet. I didn't need the extra damage from Helmet because. I was, I was using Lando mainly to defend versus some key threats and then like Samazenta for example uh, which is why we have Earth Power and 32 Sped Fs for substitutes and uh, yeah Leftovers helps for start a little bit better and allows me to get more gravities during the game um, provides rocks, provides momentum, gravity you turn into drill, we still have sand from the T-Tar and we're clicking Earthquakes, that's the goal of the team and it factors quite well with the Dragapult because it's a fast hard hitting threat next we have my my superior team, Sub, Terra Steel, Leaf Storm, all that stuff, which allows me. Let me let me increase a little bit the music. I think it's too loud. It's not loud enough. Ah, but I regret it. Anyway, I have some music in the background. Anyway, we have this cool superior with Terra, Terra Steel. It's meant to substitute uh, on Slow King Galar. And because you can Terra Steel, be immune to Sludge Bomb, and the future side does not break your sub with this EV spread, you outspeed Ogre Pons, you glare stuff, Dragon Balls, Terra Steel helps you versus Dragons, so you resist their attack and then Dragon Balls them back, or glare them, or things like that. Really cool set. We have the Dazzling Gleam Defensive Gold to go, MVP, with Leftovers, it has great longevity. Terra Fairy Dazzling Gleam Shadow Ball, we skip it, make it rain and Focus Blast, but we have other benefits from this. Then we have a fast toned. Stealth Rock Slanderous, this is a standard set. You could go max speed on this, so you don't. You mostly outspeed opposite Landorus trying to taunt you. Uh, not a bad change, I'll leave it like that. Both are work. Both work. Uh, otherwise, if you go for this speeder, you get this, the U turn. So as they taunt you, U turn. You take a little bit of Rocky Helmet damage, but you position perfectly. That's why I had it, yeah. Let's leave it like this, actually. Uh, so you position better. So the lead Lando, you are slower, they always taunt, so you don't get your rocks up and they get theirs. And so they don't you, and as you do them, you take a little bit of Rocky Helmet damage because you're slower and you go after them. But they taunt you, and then you can get the Deoxys in for free with safety. Because if you were faster, then you could have been clicking uh, attacks and shit, or U turn and all that fun stuff. Now you know for sure at the cost of like a little bit of Helmet damage. So I think I think that's good. And we have Breaking Swipe, Gouging Fire set with Terra Fairy. This is a really cool set. It's not using the Terra Poison or Terra Ghost that other people use. It's using Terra Fairy for the insane uh, defensive utilities. It has a lot of speed, a lot of HP. It outspeeds key threats at plus one. And you Breaking Swipe and Terra Fairy them. And you have the leftover recovery. One thing about this, because you don't have heavy duty boots, prioritize taunt. When you can, prioritize re preventing rocks. So. If it's, for example, uh, let me give you an example. If it's a Glimora lead, right? You gotta taunt it. You're not gonna Earth Power because you're gonna get rocks. If it's, however, taunt Lando versus taunt Lando, because you're slower, just shoot her now. Don't try to taunt it because they are, they're gonna outspeed you. Otherwise, you can go max speed and try to taunt it and go for the 50-50 speed tie. But you don't want hazards on your field because this gets pressured heavily. This gets pressured. This gets, he gets pressured. This is a really cool set my friend uh, Exotic64 uh, gave me. 
uh, which invests both in attack and special attack. So your Psycho Boost, your knockoffs, your Super Powers, your Ice Beam becomes super strong. Terra Dark allows you to, to better eat hits from uh, like, priority hits like Sucker Punch. And it boosts your knockoff so it kills Slow King Galar as well as Golden Go. Uh, it's been strong as fuck to nuke Gliscors. Psycho Boost strong as fuck. Super power for the Tyranitars, for the King Gambits, for Iron Threads, for Blissey, for things like that. Dark, 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 dark types in general, Rolling Moon, a bunch of other stuff. So it's a really cool set. You can do a Dark and Resist knockoff from Rolling Moon as well. It's a really cool set. And then we have the Super Offensive King Gambit. So it kind of like, uh, works like a Dark Spam, really. Um, we have Jolly because we turn out Speed Scarborough and things like that, and Terra Dark is super strong. Looking for opposing King Gambit, which can be threatening. And yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a late game sweeper. You know what it does. So we use that versus Lax. It almost won, but I didn't call the Terra Poison, unfortunately. I mean, I did call it, but I was a bitch. Anyway, week six. This is a really, really nice build. We're using my favorite thing, Kirem. And I got this idea from my friend. Uh, Gadget Eagle, he always likes to use Scarf Kirim to lure stuff, so I brought it in the tournament and it worked out perfectly. We used Scarf Kirim and it did damage. Uh, it's strong, it's fast, it kills Dark Apple in one hit and lures it. It lures Throwing Wound, it lures a bunch of other stuff. Really good set. Terra Fairy for some defensive utility and neutral neutrality to rocks. But you can use other stuff if you want to. Terra Ground to push your Earth Power, maybe Terra Ice, maybe Terra Dragon, so you no longer. With two rocks, and you have strong as fuck Dragomedius versus things like Volcarona. You have Choice Band Scissor with a lot of speed, so it outspeeds like mean speed, uh, 200 speed tier Heatran, uh, 200 speed tier. Uh, what else runs about that? Spear Skarmory, Corviknight sometimes, things like that. Knock off to get rid of items, so your next Pokemon can click attacks freely, or your close combat to go things uh, that you need weekend, like Fist of Pokemons. You turn momentum, so you can play around the nice. Nicely with a Voltern core. We have Offensive Timber Flare, Great Task with Leftovers and Terra Poison. Terra Poison is for the Grass Resistance as well as the Toxic Immunity versus Gliscor. And Ice Spinner Timber Flare. With this EV Spare Max Max, it means you can nuke Golden Gold because you are outspeed, so you can head on Grass on the Air Balloon and then Timber Flare nuke it. Ice Spinner for the Gliscor, so you can nuke that for your Scissor as well as the opposite ground types. It's a really cool set, prevents hazards quite well and has decent longevity with the Terra Poison leftovers. So I like it a lot. Ting Lu is the next Pokemon, standard Ting Lu. Terra Poison again, status absorption uh, versus Toxic. Uh, toxic Spikes absorption, uh, Ruination to get some damage down. It's, absorb it's absorbing all types of hits and gets, gets up spikes for our team. We have a really cool double status Rotom set. This is my go-to check for a lot of physical and special threats. Uh, I can T-Wave Gouging Fire, I can Willow Wisp. King Gambit, even Jolly because we outspeed. I can Volt Switch versus Primarina. It's a really cool set. It allows me to defend very well versus Tondoso, which would otherwise wall my Scissor. So I can get rid of its item and eventually pressure it with Hazards plus Forum and make progress. Terra Steel, so you have that Toxic and Earthquake Immunity versus Gliscor. It resists Dragon type attacks. It resists Freeze Type from Kirem. Lots of good utilities from this set. And then finally, we have a bulky King Abbott set with Terra Ghost. So we have Body Press Immunity versus things like Samazenda and Opposing Corviknights. Uh, we're also immune to Low Kick from Opposing King Gambit. Um, a lot of HP, a lot of leftovers recovery. And uh, honestly, my favorite set. I, I like Black Classes as well because it's strong as fuck. But Leftovers plus Sucker Punch makes uh, the 50 50 situations kind of always in your favor because you're getting HP back and you're getting out of range of, from attacks. So I think this is a really broken synergy Leftovers and Sucker Punch. And uh, this is a very bulky late game uh, sweeper. So I like this a lot. Terra Ghost is very nice for those body press uh, and fighting types. Or even good neutral typing in general, like for Shirtquake and things like that. So this is a nice team. We were able to win uh, and play well with this. And next we have my 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 rain team unfortunately you cannot use this exactly this way because our child on is banned now but at the time it was free and i wasn't using a salt vest i was using a jackpack which was really cool uh with stealth ox electroshock flash cannon jacob meter get all that momentum we have a nice little peliper with terra dark to be able to end this cv spread so we are slower than opposing pelippers terra dark helps be a little bit versus sucker pants and when we have the main star of this rain team, we're using Water Absorb Clotsire. So we have a solid water resist for our team. 
and it allows me to pivot very well it provides toxic spikes for our team terra back for earthquake and uh, other good utilities that the back provides versus things like great task um, but yeah mainly this is there to eject button Ooh, eject button and sorry my my my, my neck cracked but uh <laughs> Eject pattern, get the momentum, and then you get your big threats to deal damage. Choice band Barascuda. Biggest threat rain can use. Fast, strong, super powerful. Terra water, nukes, things like Corvina in two hits. Uh, we have strong boost energy. Weather ball, uh, raging ball, which is elite. It outspeeds things like Gliscor, most of the time at least. And King Gambit, so you can be very strong versus those. You could try Thunder, but I like Thunderclap priority. I think it's useful, especially when you're expecting offense and Terra Ferry is the standard set it provides a lot of good utilities and then we have this really cool Kingdra set with Substitute Hurricane I was expecting Gogerbond so I thought this is a really cool set you could try uh, Scope Lens which was another consideration that we had you could try Choice Specs maybe if you want I like this a little bit more than all of these uh, or at least I liked it at the time I don't know how it works maybe you can Scope Lens also seems promising but yeah Weatherbolt, Draco Meteor, Hurricane for the grass types like Gogerbond and yeah it's a cool little set you can substitute versus a lot of threats like toxapex you don't really make progress versus them to be honest toxapex walls you but you could substitute versus who else uh you get a lot of free substitutes basically with this heatran whenever it comes in glisco whenever it comes in landers bulky grounds uh you you use this substitute versus priority so versus opposing raging ball that you have already a great resist then this provides a lot of security versus king gambit that you don't have a great resist so you, because you don't have body press on this pokemon so you gotta be a little bit careful how you play around king gambit because you need you need to use this and raging bolt raging bolt uh, outspeed stuff uh, outspeed king gambit so you can deal a lot of damage so you can even a fairy to resist the sucker punch if you replace this you probably go with a treads and that treads needs to be more likely like a speed boosting treads with uh, ice spinner for dragonite and body press i think but maybe you can find something better maybe like a corvinite or some some other pokemon that works better to replace the archaldon but yeah this is a cool team with a king cha um unfortunately in this one we didn't win because my opponent missed a jacob meter with, with his dragapult if i remember correctly and then he didn't eject battle my cloud side which would have been incredible for me to position and then i got swept so, I mean, I'm, I'm saying the unlucky turns, but uh, there were definitely turns that I could have done in my SPL games that I could have played it better and maybe avoid some uh, unlucky situations. But so it, I, I don't want to sound like I just blame luck. Uh, next, we have one of my favorite teams, this uh, SPL. I really like this. I think it matches so well versus offensive teams. It definitely isn't suited for uh, dealing with stall and things like that. Uh, but you could do some replacements, maybe do like a different mana set, like Tail Glow or like a Hearts, Hearts Swap, whatever that, what, what that move, Taking Hearts, whatever that, what, what was the name of the move? Let me find it real quick. What was the move? I cannot find it. Take Heart, yeah. You could you maybe, maybe use that, maybe use the Rain Dance uh, with Rest to be more of a stall breaker over this. But I was facing offense. I wanted to use something that beats offense or even bulky offense with stuffs uh, like tele tele electric versus bulky waters like Dondos and Toxapex. Uh, we have this really cool Don Don uh, Gold Ego set. I don't remember exactly what the EVs did, but we had a reason for these when I was building it. It's been a couple of weeks, guys. Excuse me. Otherwise, I would remember them. Um, but the main star of the team is this Ribombi with uh, double uh, double uh, utility, sticky web, and screens. I felt I felt that. Ribombi doesn't really have many threats that are awkward. Like you have uh, Dark, uh, Dark Knight with Sludge Bomb, that's one thing that can awkward you. Cinderace, uh, but Cinderace you can get Reflect. Like whatever awkward it, Caesar maybe can awkward you. Like whatever awkward this Pokemon, I was outspeeding and I can get one screen to to prevent it from awkwarding me. Except maybe Sludge Bomb, Dark Knight and Caesar and maybe like Heavy Slam, Sama Santa. That's about it. Other, th other than that, and that's if they know you don't have the, the sass, otherwise they don't really want to get status board, stat board, excuse me, uh, because they get paralyzed and then you outspeed them. So they would be afraid versus regular Ripompi. So this is really nice because it allows me to not only get my website, but I get some screens to better give setup to my Pokemons. 
So we're using very big threats. We're using Gajic Fire with substitutes so we can have toxic immunity. And behind screens and Terra Fairy, you can leave Earthquakes. Your substitute doesn't break from Earthquake Liscor, so it's beautiful. Uh, or with Light Screen, you don't, your substitute doesn't break versus Earth Power Landorus. Um, you have this bulk up, Poison, Terra for, tox for Toxic Liscor again. Uh, great task and provides like some hazard removal and some defensive utility versus King Gambit. Uh, you have this really cool EV spread by my friend Maverick Shooters on the Raging Ball. It has a lot of speed, good amount of bulk, not enough special attack, but you make up for it with screens, being able to eat all types of hits, allowing you to call mine multiple times. Um, Mana Fifth with Hydro Pump, Terra Plus Electric, perfect over, it's basically Bolt Pick and Hydro Pump, really strong. And it also resists Thunderclap for opposing Crazy Bolts. And then you have the Golden God I showed you before. It's uh, also meant to lure King Amber. Then we have my week 3 team, uh, which is using a more of a balanced approach using Kirem. Uh, Heavy Duty Boots Kirem, one of my favorite sets to use on Kirem. Scarf is my favorite. The, then this, then uh, Specs, but uh, Specs has some issues. Um, there are also other sets like Ice Kill Grass, which are really nice. You have uh, Golden God Hex the star of the team and it won me the game on the spot really 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 annoying to deal with with the Terraferian Hex if you don't have a Garganagle it's very hard to deal with this Pokemon uh, we brought Bandibus with Iron Defense and Toxic allowed me to soft check a lot of threats and ED attacks and Toxic Spam Don Dozo which is a hard wall to a lot of physical attackers like Galgic Fire hard wall to a lot of special attackers like uh, Raging Bolt and Walking Wake maybe uh, no, no I don't have fun over I have fun over so maybe Glotzer not Walking Wake and Darkrai. And then you have this utility spread F Clef with security versus Psy Shock Valiant, security versus a lot of special threats like Dragapult and things like that. Uh, so it's a nice little team, a nice little balance, balance, knock off utility so our hazards can cause problems. And you can use like, you can use Clef to, you know, as a status absorption as well as knock off. Absorption, so whenever they try to spam knock off, you can just use your cleft because you don't need heavy duty boots. Uh, that's why we don't have defog at this team because everyone's spamming heavy duty boots except this with smudge guard. So, yeah, really cool, really good cool balance, I think. Then we have the week two. I brought this versus Bandsmith, and uh, my opponent clicked six uh, Raging, Fu uh, Raging Fury Raging Furies versus, my, versus me. Um, I don't think the team is bad, I could have played it better, but I just didn't know what the set was. So if you're facing Sun, try to tear out your Gliscor instead of sucking it and then you can maneuver. Choice Specs Primaria outspeeds uh, King Gambit and this Sucker Punch, so it's really nice and you can get like very strong hits with it. And then we have the Heavy Duty Boots Utility, the Dragapult. This set allows you to tweak your Slow King with uh, Dragon Darts, so it works perfectly for our Primarina in the back, luring Slow King and clicking Moonblast. And then as well as clouds and things like that. Then we have the Choice Band Rillaboom, Utility, Sucker Punch, King uh, Cinderace, so we can uh, better defend versus Dragapult. High Horsepower because I'm using high, uh, Rillaboom, and then the Mixed Defense Skill Score with Stealth Rocks, and then we have the King Gabber, slow defensive Terra Ghost like before. Not my favorite team, this is probably my least favorite team in the tournament uh, that I used, but feel free to try and experiment with it. And this is the team that I bought week 1 versus Freeze Eye with a Super Slam, uh, Super Cell Slam uh, Great Task. Then, which is meant to counter uh, rain teams, which were very popular and we were expecting our opponent to bring. I bought the, uh, the first Iron Crown of the tournament uh, with a speed boosting variant. I thought it matched very well versus offense because you can tack on Cutter, uh, Rebombi, and, and Okoir through its sass. And it matched very well versus Glimora stuff. It's a really good cool set. They are fighting. Lure the King Gambit, Skull Mind, Psychic Ghost to prevent healing, so there's more defensive Pokemon you can prevent healing with it. It's a nice mon. Uh, Nordic Moon, one of the best sweepers in the game. Rillaboom with a Salt Vest and this cool EV spread that allows you to outspeed a bunch of threats like uh, some Raging Bolts and High Horsepower them, as well as Gliscor. Terra Fairy Utility, Howlucha with Hancor and Terra Steel from the Dragonites and uh, Status, and yeah, you get a lot of setup with this. And then you have the Fast Hancor Primarina. Which is a really cool set. Gas is hit for the defense boost. Torrent, Surf, Calamine Draining is for recovery. Terra Poison for toxic immunity. As well as Grass Resistance. As well as Fairy Resistance. So yeah, these are the teams that I'm, I'm showing you today. I use these teams for my SPL. Which is my most important tournament at the moment. Uh, outside of like other tournaments that I've played for money. 
But uh, yeah, uh, I trust these teams. I like them. Uh, I think all of them were good. We didn't get exactly the result we wanted, but uh, now that I'm out of the tour, I wanted to share them with you. So yeah, they're going to be in the description. I hope you like them. Give me some feedback if you want. And yeah, I'll, if you're interested in, the, in that content where we are showing you and giving you teams, feel free to subscribe as it helps my channel. And yeah, very, very much appreciated. But yeah, this is going to be the vid. Hope you liked it. Uh, bye bye everyone. Peace.